Welcome back to the Fixed Ops Roundtable. The number one topic over the last several months in the Fixed Ops community has been the phones. And we are very honored today to have with us Shannon Garofalo from the Dan Wolf Automotive Group and Ashley Ellis from Brook.ai. Ladies, welcome to the Fixed Ops Roundtable. Thanks for having me. Shannon, uh, great honor to have you. First time at the Roundtable. Yeah. Um, you're leading a dealer group. First, give us a little of the uh, lay of the land there at Dan Wolf. Uh, what franchises? Where are you located? Give us a little bit of the story there. Yeah, so we are a three-store dealer group. We have uh, Toyota, Chevr Chevrolet, and Lexus stores. We are in a suburb that's about 45 minutes outside southwest of Chicago, so um, a pretty large suburb, actually. Um, again, three stores. Uh, pretty busy. Our Toyota store is one of the largest in our region, so it's a very high volume store. Okay, and then you've also got the luxury side there with Lexus as Lexus. well. So you got a great cross section. So Shannon, give yeah. us a little of uh, the history. Uh, you've been working with uh, Proactive for a while now, and you know what led you to uh, Brook, and how did we get uh, where we are today? So um, I've been in, uh, I've worked for the organization for 11 years, starting off in the BDC, uh, worked my way up pretty quickly uh, into our finance department. And then there happened to be an opening for uh, the BDC manager position. And I was a previous teacher, so it was a good fit for me. Um, so transitioned into the BDC manager and then into the internet director. And in 2016, Chevrolet uh, started an initiative where you had to choose um, a consulting company to work with to, you know, better ha help everybody's BDCs. And at the time we had, you know, a pretty good established BDC, we could always do better. And so we um, chose proactive and um, had not looked back, obviously. Um, we continue to have our uh, consultant, his name is Trevor, come out for a whole entire week every single month. And um, it's not that we're always learning something. So um, as everybody knows, staffing is always an issue in a BDC. So that kind of led us to our path with Brooke. We've had such great success with Proactive and everything that they've done for us up to this point that when Brooke was introduced, um, it just seemed like a natural fit for us in the sense that um, we needed help. And it, this was the it, she just it fit nat naturally in with us. Um, and if, if you don't mind, Shannon, uh, your BDC, does it handle both sales and uh, service? Uh, yes, it is sales and service. They are separate, meaning if you're answering for sales, you're answering for sales. If you answer for service, you answer for service. But we answer for all three stores. So it's never it's never a dull moment. The phone is constantly ringing. It doesn't slow down. And <laughs> I don't know if you know, but ab about how many uh, service advisors or people in that capacity at the three stores uh, does Dan Wolf have uh, approximately? Um, call it uh, around 30 total at all three stores. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you got a busy moving operation, a lot of yes. things happening and you got, of course, the inbound and the outbound opportunities. Yes. So that brings us to sometime maybe last year and, um, you decided to take the next step and bring Brook.ai in. And yes. Ashley, I guess that's where you come in as well. Um, Shannon, tell us, you know, what led you to that and, uh, you know, why you decided to do that? So I would I would say the, the constant staffing constraints, um, it, to me, it was just always an excuse. Like we weren't able to get to our outbound calls. We weren't able to generate enough business. We weren't able to make enough appointments because of the staffing. So it, that... It, I was sick of using that as an excuse. So when Brooke came about, it was like, great, now I don't have an excuse. Now my staff can actually generate the business that our department is here for. So um, having the ability to not feel so angst and stressed and being this reactionary department, because the only thing we were able to do was answer these inbound phone calls. Um, you know, Brooke obviously alleviated that for us and has been able to show a, a significant increase in what the department now generates. And your BDC, from what I understand, is 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 now part of the dealership's culture. Okay, yes. um, was this you know did this feel right you know in in bringing uh, you know Brook AI in? Uh, any hesitation on your part at all? Um, of course, there's always going to be some you know <laughs> people who are skeptical, and and that's okay. But um, we've were I've worked closely with Proactive in piloting some things with them, so I knew that 
this pro they, I knew that proactive would not come to me with a product unless they thought it was up to the caliber of our BDC. They, they more or less knew better because we're a well-oiled machine. Um, I can poke a hole in something, not because I'm looking for errors or, you know, but we're just, we're, we're so high functioning. So uh, we were confident in it. And I think that um, the longevity of the relationship we have with proactive really helped maybe anybody else that might've had some concerns with the product at first. Ashley, uh, you work, Proactive works with so many dealers around the country. Um, uh, you know, tell us from your perspective, uh, Dan Wolf, and why you thought this might be a good fit as well, you know, for their group. Um, yeah, I actually was um, the one of the account managers um, for Dan Wolf back in 2016 uh, for a period of time. And I remember then... Um, Brittany had just started. We had two service agents and we would watch the numbers for outbound and we, we could never get there. We could just never get the outbound campaign. So um, I was excited to watch as uh, they brought um, Brooke on and I, I probably harassed their account manager now a little bit like, what are their numbers? What, how are they doing? Do they love it? How is it going? Um, so it's great just to see that it's, it's working, um, and to see the numbers, you know, to see the, the increase in outbound campaigns, especially for, for the Toyota store, which has so much opportunity, oh, yeah. um, with that. So yeah, we love, we love Dan Wolf. We love Shannon. It's been such a great partnership for, it feels like 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. They're, they're one of our most loved, I would say. So Shannon, talk to us. Um, uh, you made the move. You brought Brooke AI in. How long has it been now? And, you know, talk to us about some of the results, you know, maybe some of the, the things that Ashley's mentioning about the ability to do those outbound calls and so on. So it was uh, end of last year when we implemented her and we started actually using Brooke at our Toyota store and um, made the decision that here, if, it, if Rook can cut it at our Toyota store with such a high volume, then there should be no reason why we shouldn't implement that at our other store. And we were like, we'll know rather quickly if Rook is going to succeed or not, just because of the sheer volume. So thankfully, um, she obviously succeeded, <laughs> signed up at our other two stores. But um, like I said before, there was this constant excuse of not having enough staff to get to our outbound phone calls. So now actually being able to go in and look at the campaigns that we're running, looking at the list, seeing how successful we are in getting these customers in, because really um, the, the list that we're, we're calling off of are customers who have free services. We're not cold calling people. So these are we're, we're easy calls to make to get, you know, customers back in the door or get things that they were already owed to them. Um, that we just were never able to do. So uh, I, again, Brooke has really just opened up that door. So we're able to really hone in. We originally started every rep would have, we called them power hours, but we couldn't get, an hour was impossible. So we broke it down even smaller. Each rep would do 15 minutes per hour. We've been able to increase that to a half an hour now. Every rep is able to now do solid half hours where they're able to just pound the phones, which is something we haven't done in years in this department. And how was it received by, I have to ask you, by your customers, you know, how do they feel now? And uh, did they even know that, uh, it's uh, that I hear you refer to Brooke as she, that it's not yeah. a, a real person. <laughs> I mean, I, it's, it's been mixed. Um, to be honest with you, I, I fielded a phone call yesterday that was a customer who said, just get me to service. Don't send me to that robot. Whoever implemented her should be fired. This is ridiculous. And I said, well, actually, sir, it was my decision. I appreciate your feedback. I am really sorry that you are frustrated, but I can get somebody who can help you. So, um, you know, even though to this day, it's not for everybody. I understand that. Um, our guests don't know when they call in, the phone tree doesn't say, Joe, do you want to speak to our robot? Um, but we've had a lot of guests who are like, thank you. This has been so convenient for me. I'm actually glad that I could just schedule this and not wait on hold. Um, right, right. So uh, it's um, most of our guests um, have received it really, really well. For what I, what I have heard from other stores that Ashley and uh, 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 Brooke is working with is that in the time that typically those customers would still be on hold, 
Brooke has made the, and booked the appointment and set everything up in about that same amount of time before you even got to the call. Did you experience anything like that? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, we have a, a queue system in our phone. So I sit and monitor that all the time and I watch how long these calls are in these queues. And I just know that these, you know, four minute hold times that, you know, Brooke has already scheduled several appointments while, you know, these people were waiting. So. Wow. That is, yeah. and, and Ashley, uh, hats off to you. Cowboy hats off to you. Um, a great, a great job with that. What did you notice, Ashley, on on your side? You know, in interacting with uh, Shannon and, and the dealer group. Well, really, it's been. Um, I mean, Shannon has a solid, um, I would say, partnership. Um, like she works as a partner with the performance coach that comes in, um, the account manager that works here out of the office. Mm -hmm. So, you know. I would say in the setup of everything, being able to work one-on-one -on -one and not be kind of left to yourself to figure out the phone tree and figure out how everything's going to fit in and work together. And how is the scheduling tool going to work with how Brooke's going to schedule? Um, you know, it's really not even hats off to me. I, I have okay. been in the background watching. It's half off. It's hats off to Shannon and her team. And then the, the, the team there is, is super helpful. Trevor. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Shannon, I got to ask you then two parts. Um, is that support that you're and, and actually referring to now, is that enough support to make this work at the dealership? And is the fact that Brooke.ai already has that foundation in BDC through proactive, is that an added resource and an added bonus as well? In oh, making for sure. sure this works. Oh, for sure. Um, again, we're, we're such a high functioning BDC. The, um, the amount of phone calls that we receive, um, just the volume itself, we encounter issues rather quickly because they happen to us more frequently. So um, the team at Proactive has, has been phenomenal in that, in that aspect, tweaking things, constantly getting on the phone with us when we were setting it up. Does this make sense? Does this not make sense? We had a lot of intricacies at our Toyota store that um, I think that they even, I'm, I'm sure, learned from us when we were doing it and setting it up, um, which hopefully helped many other people. Um, but yeah, the, the the foundation that Proactive already had definitely helped not ease my mind because I didn't need to be eased, but I knew that they knew what I was talking about. They were going to know my frustrations. They were going to know how to fix it or, and, and really be a, a true partner in, 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 in doing this endeavor with them. And how long to get it set up for your initial store uh, did this take? Um, in oh, terms of time? I, 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 probably a week. Okay. okay. I don't even think it might've been that long. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, super easy, super fast. And like I said, when we noticed something was wrong, it was like, okay, how do we fix this? What do we do? Let's get this right. Shannon, would you ever go back to the old way of having no. uh, just no. people, human beings? No? Really? No. Okay. Wow. No. Wow. And uh, is that sentiment shared by your staff and your, your BDC agents as well? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yes. Wow. wow. So Ashley, uh, I would imagine that... Uh, Knockwood, this is a success story for Brook.ai. Um, uh, Ashley, what are, the, what are the next steps to get others enrolled? And, you know, how do they do that? And how do we, how do we replicate that uh, for dealers like Shannon? I mean, of course, we would love to have every single one of our partners on the platform. We're quickly trying to get every integration available that we possibly can, you know, we had such good success with X time and Reynolds and CDK, but um, we're ready. To, we're ready to take on the rest of the, the rest of the world. Um, yeah. I, I hear there are some new integrations coming and that reminds me, Shannon, uh, do you use any of those platforms that Ashley mentioned, you know, like X time or something yes. similar to that? Yes. Yeah. We use X time in our DMS as Reynolds. Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. And uh, uh, you're doing this to handle all of the incoming calls, not just some of the calls or just overflow or. Correct. Yeah. The, the phone tree, everybody has the option to go and speak to Brooke. It is. Right. Yes. Everybody can, can experience her. All right. Last <laughs> question for today. And uh, it's for Shannon. And then Ashley, I'll come to you. Uh, Shannon, looking out here, we are at the end of January, almost in February, looking out over the rest of 2023, you have a lot of peers watching you who are leading 
the same type of effort at retail. You've got also general managers, dealers, and you've got service advisors and service managers watching as well. What advice would you give them if they're thinking about doing something like this? If they're, you know, saying to themselves, you know, we got to answer the phones, but not quite sure whether we want to take that next step and do AI. What advice would you have uh, for them looking out over the horizon? Take the chance. It's worth it take the chance. The amount of uh, stress that it has alleviated for just myself um, and even the, the rest of the staff, they, they probably don't even realize what an impact she has, but take a chance. Okay. And Ashley? I concur. <laughs> take a chance. Let Give Brooke a shot. All right. Shannon, thank you so much, Ashley. Uh, if our audience would like to learn more about Brook.ai, you can visit them online at Brook.ai. And Ashley, I don't suppose that uh, Brook and Proactive are going to be at NADA later this week, are they? We 100% will be there. Okay. All right. So you can look for Proactive. We're pink and, and purple everywhere. <laughs> okay. We know the colors, right? Yeah. Very distinctive. And if you're not going to NADA, uh, reach out uh, right here, brook.ai. And of course, Ashley Ellis, uh, you can find her all over social media now uh, as the face of Brook. And, uh, you know, we're so honored for our association with, uh, with brook.ai and proactive. Shannon, on behalf of the Fixed Ops community, thank you for sharing your story today. Thank you, Shannon. Happy, happy to. Thanks for having me. All right. A success story, everybody. Dan Wolf, Automotive Group, Shannon Garofalo, here today with Ashley Ellis from Brook.ai at the Fixed Ops Roundtable. Thank you. Thank you.